Welcome to Electro Online. Here's another one of those fun videos where we try to find X and Y. Again, it of course depends what you think is fun, but it's kind of like a detective story, right? You're trying to find out what the value for X and Y must be to make that work out. Now we probably are going to use the principles of congruency of triangles to figure this out. So they already told us that this angle corresponds to this angle and they have the same angular measure. Therefore, the 40 degrees must equal 12x plus 4y degrees. So we can write that down already. We can say that 12x plus 4y must equal 40. But notice there's two variables in there, x and y. So with one equation and two variables, we cannot yet solve that. Now let's see what else we can do. Well, here we have a right angle. Uh, right angle, so 90 degree angle, and this angle right here must also be 90 degrees because these are supplementary angles and they must add up to 180. So if this is 90 degrees, then this must be 90 degrees as well. And so we know that these are therefore corresponding angles with the same angular measure. So if these two angles are corresponding angles with the same measure, and these two angles are corresponding angles with the same measure, then these two angles must be corresponding angles with the same measure. Now, I don't have a lot of room here, so I'll go ahead and put that in there like that. Because, of course, if two of the angles have, of two of the corresponding angles have the same angular measure, then the third corresponding angle must have the same angular measure as well. And if this angle is 90 degrees, and this one is 40 degrees, we can then figure out what this angle must be because the angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. So here we can say that 90 degrees plus 40 degrees plus the unknown angle right here must add up to 180 degrees. In other words, we have the unknown angle is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 40 degrees and so therefore the unknown angle is 90 minus 40 or 50 degrees. So this here is a 50 degree angle. Now since this angle corresponds to this angle, they must have the same angular measure. So therefore we can also say that 17x minus y must equal to 50. Now we have two equations and two unknowns and we can solve those simultaneously. If I multiply both sides of the equation by 4, and notice why did I do that? Because here I see a plus 4y and I see a minus 1y. So if I multiply this times 4, I'll get a minus 4y. Then when I add the two equations together, the y's will then be eliminated. So I multiply the left side by 4, the right side by 4. If I multiply both sides of an equation by the same number, I do not change the equation. So here we can see that uh, twice that is 34 times 2 is 68, so we get 68x minus 4y is equal to 200. And then we can move it over here, and we'll write this again, 68x minus 4y is equal to 200, and now I can add the two equations together. When I do that, I get 12x plus 68x, which is 80x. The y's are eliminated, equals 240. Now I can divide both sides by 80 and therefore x is equal to 240 divided by 80, which is 3. So now I have a value for x. Then I can plug that back into one of my two equations. It doesn't matter which one I plug it into. So I can go ahead and maybe plug it into this equation right here. So I'll take this equation, and instead of writing 12x, I'll write 12 times 3 plus 4y equals 40. 12 times 3 is 36, so 36 plus 4y is equal to 40. Now I can subtract 36 from both sides, so I get 4y is equal to 40 minus 36, or 4y is equal to 4, and of course divide both sides by 4, I get y is equal to 1. And so there we go, x equals 3, y is equal to 1 is the correct answer. If you want to check to make sure you have the correct answer, you can take both of these and plug those values into this equation just to see if that is indeed correct. So we have the equation 17x minus y equals 50. So we're going to replace every x by 3 and every y by 1 and see if you get the correct answer. So 17 times 3 minus 1 
is equal to 50 question mark so that's the question Oop, there should be a 50 there okay so 17 times 3 that's 51 minus 1 equals 50 question mark and of course you can now see that 50 is indeed equal to 50 which verifies that those two answers were indeed correct and so that's why understanding the principles of, of triangle congruency we can figure out what the angles are equal to and therefore solve for x and y and that is how it's done